making my beds. This this bed is graded. Oh, thumbs up. Several years ago, I built this triple bunk bed set for my boys, and I was about due to make my daughter their bed set. I wanted to keep the same original look. Originally, I did purchase plans for the triple bunk bed set off a website called The Handmade Dress. I will leave a link to their website in the description of this video, just in case you're interested in making your own. After going to the home center and picking up all the lumber I needed, I left it in my shop and it was acclimated for approximately two weeks. This left some checking on the ends and I just made sure I cut those pieces off. The plants call for just face screwing all the pieces together. I decided I was going to go with pocket hole joinery. This way there wouldn't be any holes on the outside of the bed and they wouldn't show. I initially wanted to stain everything so I thought the holes would show. But later on I found out my wife wanted to paint the bed anyways so I should have just gone with just face screwing all the pieces together. After drilling all the pocket holes, it was fairly simple just apply some glue and start assembling all the pieces for the bed frame. Made sure everything was square. And started with the end bra braces. These get attached with a couple of 3 inch screws and 2 inch Craig screws on the ends. I marked center and that's where the center brace would go. To make sure the braces would be flush to the bottom of the bed frame I stuck those scrap pieces of quarter inch plywood underneath and that, that way it ensured it, everything would be flush. When I purchased the half inch sheet of plywood I had the home center rip it to the final width. Usually a home center will do it for free. This way I could just take it back home and cut the end off to the final dimension. I screwed it down uh, to the braces using inch and a quarter screws. I give the entire bed frame a quarter inch round over profile just to ease the edges a little bit. Since I was going to be painting this bed frame, I decided to use dry decks to fill up any voids, uh, such as right next to any knots. After a coat of primer and paint, the beds were pretty much done. As for the bed rails, I decided I was going to go with something fairly similar to the triple bunk bed set I made. Uh, with one small change, I was going to put a flower right in the center. As far as the handles, I knew the design that I came up with years ago uh, worked fairly well, so I was going to keep that original design. Now it's time to work on the ladder. I cut all the pieces to final dimensions, glued up a couple of 2x4s. Uh, to make the posts and then made a series of cuts since I don't have a dado stack to accept the rungs.
I applied a coat of Provencal stain from Minwax and a couple of coats of polyurethane. Prior to beginning the installation process, I did mark all my studs and you can see uh, I used blue painter's tape. I didn't want to put any marks on the wall since it was a fresh coat of paint. I removed all the baseboard trim and began by using a 7 8 uh, Forstner bit to countersink slightly about 3 8 of an inch. Then I drilled all the way through and drove in my 4 inch lag. These lag bolts go directly to the studs and it's going to keep everything in place. I was, I was ready to begin the installation of the vertical supports. The top bunk is secured to the wall just like the bottom bunk with lags but the weight is going to be transferred from these vertical supports all the way to the floor or the bottom bunk. You do not want all this weight being carried by your studs in your wall. I secured the ladder by drilling a couple of through holes through the bed frame and the ladder to accept a 4 inch carriage bolt. I used a washer and a 5 16 nut to secure it in place. It was easier for me to just kind of build the bed rails as I went along and this way I could just be open to any changes that I wanted to make. I attached the handles by driving a couple of two and a half inch screws from the back side of the handles and then I drilled a through hole to accept a four inch carriage bolt. I used a washer and a 5 16 nut to secure it in place and then I finished everything off with a cap nut. I threw my baseboard moldings back on and the bed was pretty much done at this point. Well this is definitely a build you could knock out in a weekend. It took me a little bit longer, but I wanted to take extra time with the rail. I wanted to do something special for my daughters. And right around $160, you can't go wrong with the price. I want to thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Oh, thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one, guys.